Okay, hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel once again. And I'm in my car, if you can't tell. And it's cold, so excuse the jacket. And yeah, it's not gonna be like a very picturesque car tour today, but this is Canada in the winter. So, but yeah, here we are in my car. And I thought I would just do a little bit of a car tour today because I don't really have much else to film. Um, once again, give me ideas if you have any. But yeah, let's get on with the car tour. Start, this is a 2014 Volkswagen Beetle. And now I'm just gonna start with the fact that I don't know a lot about cars. I'm definitely not a car person, um, car person. I've always wanted a Beetle because Beetles are my favorite cars, other than like, of course, like if I could have a Tesla, I'd have a Tesla, but like, realistically, Beetles are my favorite cars. So, this is what I wanted, so this is what I got, and I am buying it myself for anybody. I feel like as soon as a person in their 20s gets a car, everybody assumes their parents got it for them, believe me, I am struggling. <laughs> but I did afford this car, I mean, I didn't pay for outright Okay, this is my car and it's my responsibility so just because I like live at home it's my car so anyway with that out of the way I did buy it used obviously as a 2014 it's in really nice shape it's red as you can probably tell it's really nice I kind of wanted blue but this one was just in so much better shape than a lot of like the other ones I saw and it doesn't have I wanted a sunroof it doesn't have one but I mean, it's Canada and it's winter like eight months out of the year, so it's fine. But anyway, let's get on with the car tour. I'm sitting, ooh, obviously I'm sitting in the driver's seat. Okay, there we go. So here's my steering wheel. Sorry, it is upside down. Um, and there's the dash. Let's see, so we have my kilometers, gas gauge, all of that jazz. You can also change the time and stuff with the little buttons down here. Over here is kind of cool, um, obviously like air, but you can actually change the lights that come on down here. You can make them blue, red, or white, I think, which is kind of neat. Um, and there is a little, you guys can see it, a little gum compartment and I have ice breakers in here so love that um, this is a steering wheel cover it's red obviously it's red and like faux leather I wanted it to match I do have an extra mask here because you never know when you're gonna forget your mask and then my key cover is also red to match the car I don't know I kind of went all out with the matchy match sorry if that annoys people um, here is my radio. I have it, always have it on Bluetooth because then I can listen to my music. I can keep my phone here. I only have a G1 license, which if you're Canadian, you know that means I can't drive on my own. So, haven't been able to put my phone there yet because generally somebody else is driving me to somewhere where I can practice driving. Um, but yeah, that's a phone stand. And then just the basics, it's got FM, media, you can do CDs. Um, up here I have a bunch of CDs. I don't know if you guys can see with the light. Is that kind of better? I don't know. I just honestly don't know if you guys can see. But I feel like I made it worse. My CDs up there. I have some Spice Girls, some Fleetwood Mac, some Shania, some Michael Jackson. And oh, this just goes down. And it's a mirror. So, there's that. Up here, there is a sunglasses compartment. Sorry if it's really dark. I think my sunglasses are actually in here from the summer, which is kind of funny. Um, and then it's got like Bluetooth and voice controls and lights. It's got the same kind of thing on the other side with the mirror. And yeah, I have my Jelly Belly air freshener. And then now, Oh my gosh, it's a seat. But I have 2020, so I have an extra mask. This I have what was that? I have headphones and an extra cable in here. Um, I have my AirPods generally with me, but my biggest fear is to like not have headphones because I'm a 
I don't know if anybody else. Oh my god, why is it so dark all of a sudden? There we go. I don't know if anybody else like has this problem, but I hate being without headphones. Like if I'm on public transit or something and I don't have headphones, I I just can't do it. I don't know. People try to talk to me and I have bad anxiety when like strangers are trying to talk to me. I don't know. And especially with the pandemic, I just don't want people to be close to me that I don't know. I don't know if that's weird, but I just, it's weird. So I have a fear of not having headphones, so I always have an extra pair of headphones like in my purse and then in my car. Okay, so continuing on, I have an extra air freshener. It's just the same one, but you keep it in plastic because apparently as soon as you open it, it starts to lose its smell. And then an extra mask, so that's what's over here. And this one actually does have an extra glove compartment, which is really nice. So this has a lot in it. I'm just gonna quickly show you guys what's in here. This is a little bag I have in there. It's like my emergency kit bag. And in here I have Advil. I gotta replace it for Tylenol because I know Advil isn't the best for you, but that's what I could find. I have gum, I have a Blistex. Where is it? Blistex. I have, oh, this is a mini flashlight in case like you lose something under the seat. You know how many times that's happened? I feel like it's an unlikely thing to happen, but you know how many times I've like dropped my phone and it's fallen under the seat and then this is a small car and it's like I can't find it. So a mini flashlight, what else is in here? Oh, I have a bunch of hair ties because I hate my hair on my face. Even though I have short hair and I even have like um, curtain bangs, like curtain, like 90s, or sorry, 70s curtain bangs right now and I have to have them out of my face. Like right now, they're tucked up in little ponies because, uh, and I have mo mo uh, moist wipes in here, which are like the individual little hand wipes. Um, it is a pandemic and I don't know, I like clean hands. I kind of have a no food in my car rule right now just because I don't really want to have to vacuum it out. So, I mean, no one's really eating in my car, but if, if we had to eat in the car, moist wipes or to wipe something. Um, I have more wipes. These are like deodorizing wipes. And then I have a first aid kit. This one was actually in my dad's truck and then I got a bigger one or something and then I took this one. I don't know, we ended up switching first aid kits but basically, I don't know, how do I show this? It looks like this and it's just got like, um, like alcohol wipes and band-aids and gloves and like tape and stuff like that. It's mainly just, I like to have this kind of thing with us mainly for the dogs, but honestly, like I'm less likely to injure myself. I feel like my dogs are like walking disasters and you know how many times they've like ripped off a nail or something while we're at the park, it's ridiculous. So this is mainly for them, honestly. Um, but yeah, first aid kits are always a good idea. I feel like every car should have first aid kit. I do have a little mini wet brush and this one has emojis on it. I kind of, I wouldn't really choose an emojis brush, like I'm not 12, but that's what they had. And it's like mini, so it's really cute. I have you guys up on my dashboard. I have hand sanitizer. This is like, my dad thinks it doesn't actually work because it doesn't have alcohol in it. It's like alcohol free hand sanitizer, but this is the ecological hand sanitizer with aloe. And it says that the active ingredient is like some other chemical. I don't know. I like this because I'm trying to be eco-friendly and like, I don't know. It's fine. I have an extra dog seatbelt. I do have two dogs. Generally only one of them needs a seatbelt um, because she sits in the back. But I mean, I do have an extra dog seatbelt just in case. And then I have an extra bag of baggy of surgical masks because Without fail, like even though, I mean, we don't really go to the stores right now. We have like, we get our groceries delivered and everything because I don't know if you, if anybody's familiar, but like in Toronto right now, cases are really bad. I'm out of work. Um, I'm not laid off. We're just not being scheduled right now because my store is closed. So cases are really bad. So we're not really going anywhere. But when we used to be able to go to grocery stores and stuff like that, um, without fail, like one of us would forget our masks. So I always keep extras now. Okay, so just quickly, obviously I have my red striped scrunchie here. And in here, okay, so this is kind of another funny story. I feel like I keep having funny stories. Maybe they're not funny, I don't know. Um, but when I got the car, I actually didn't know it was Bluetooth. And you're gonna be like, how did you not know it was Bluetooth? Well, it's an option for this vehicle, obviously, but it's not an option I thought the vehicle had because they didn't advertise it as such. So I did get like an aux cord and everything, which you can see here. Um, but it does turn out that, that the vehicle is Bluetooth capable. 
for my phone, as you can see, Bluetooth audio. So I don't actually need those, but I can use it to charge my phone, so it's all good. It has a cigarette lighter here, oops, there. It has my cup holders, which are here. Excuse the dog hair, and yeah. And like I said, there's nothing under here. I don't keep anything, and this is what I showed you before with the extra dog seatbelt and all that. Um, and yeah, so over here, I don't really keep anything in the side compartment. I do have, oh my gosh, let me reach. I do have one CD. I have ABBA Gold because we know I love ABBA, and I just keep that CD in here. But everything else is pretty much, you know, pretty, pretty empty. I don't like to keep a lot in the vehicle just to keep it clean. But let's take a look at the back seat now. Okay, no one ever said the Beatles were big and they're not. So let me just quickly try to show you. This is the back seat. It's two seats in the back, so it's a four seater car. Very simple. Here's the other dog seat belt. Sorry, I have to like reach. Here's the other dog seat belt. I still have to get a dog like seat cover. I usually just put a blanket if my dogs are gonna be in here because she sheds really bad. Um, but that's what it looks like. I love that it carries the red paint trim all the way through the back. Like I absolutely spin you guys around. I absolutely love that about this, like beetles in general. I mean, obviously I love beetles, but I love that they carry their paint like theme all the way around the car. So I don't know. I really love that. I know that that's kind of a random thing to love, but it just looks really like you can see. It just looks really clean and neat. And yeah, that's pretty much all for inside the car. Um, it's not very, like, it's not, there's not a lot going on inside the car. I feel like I definitely missed something. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna show you guys what I have in my trunk. It's pretty empty. Um, like I said, I like, I'm, I'm definitely not a minimalist in like real life, but with my car, I really wanna keep it pretty simple just because I don't like clutter in small spaces and this is a very small space. And if I can avoid clutter, I avoid clutter. So anyway, let's jump out and go into the freezing cold and go see my trunk of my car. Go see the trunk of my car. Okay, so I love this. I love the little Volkswagen logo. Okay, like I said, very simple. This is my mini car brush which apparently is not very useful but I mean it's a small car and then the bag that that goes in when during the summer that goes in the bag I have my roadside emergency kit which basically just has like jump cables and that kind of stuff and then this is my cleaning bag or box sorry I have paper towel lots and lots and lots of microfiber cloths like a lot of them um, glass cleaner multi-purpose cleaner and then it has my extra license plate cover from when I got it at the dealership. I put a Mickey Mouse one on my car. I can't show it because of the license plate but it's pretty cute. And yeah. Ooh, I got him. I tripped over snow. Look, look at this. Tripped over snow. But anyway. Yeah. So that is the trunk. Oh. Pretty pretty okay okay so yeah that was my car tour I hope you guys enjoyed um, I know it kind of sucks because it's winter and I can't really like take the car somewhere scenic so you guys can see it but I will put some pictures of when I first got the car in the summer and we took it to like in um, like a high parking garage and like this the clouds in the back it was really pretty so I'll post some pictures of that so you guys can see the car in her full glory but I did kind of just want to get this video up because I really love my car and I wanted to share it with you guys. But like I said, this is 100% my car. Pay for it on my own. I feel like anytime anybody does these videos, immediately people are like, oh my god, your parents probably bought that for you. Believe me, I wish, I wish someone bought me this car. But no, <laughs> I work. <laughs> um, so anyway i hope you guys enjoyed and if you did let me know definitely comment down below let me know what kind of car you have if you have one or what kind of car you want to get if you like what's your dream car beetles have always been like the car i always wanted i guess they would be considered my dream car but if i could have any car in the whole world and money was no option i'd probably get some sort of tesla just because I like to try to be environmentally friendly as much as humanly possible it's not you can't do it in every aspect of your life 
um, but I try. So yeah, that's probably be what that would probably be what I would get. Some kind of green car. Um, but yeah, let me know if you guys have any other videos you want to see, whether they be reptile, like animal related, or kind of more lifestyle related. Let me know. And I hope you guys enjoyed. And happy New Year! Because this video will be going up. So I'm filming this on New Year's Eve, but this video will be going up in January. So I hope everybody had a safe and happy New Year. And let's go 2021. Let's make this a good year. Anything's better than 2020, right? Come on. <laughs> so I hope you guys um, are doing well, and I will see you guys later. Bye.